talk about the board game creators and designers out there that you are obsessed with, that everything they do, you wanna buy, you wanna back on Kickstarter. I mean, for me, Shem Phillips from Garfield Games, who made Raiders of the North Sea, Explorers of the North Sea, um, and Shipwrights of the North Sea, who's made that whole saga, is just incredible. And everything he does, I just have so much faith in it that it's gonna be great, and I have to have it. And so today I wanna to talk to you about his newest project, Architects of the West Kingdom. So like I said, Architects of the West Kingdom uh, by Garfield Games uh, from previous projects of the North Sea Saga. So Raiders, uh, Explorers, Shipwrights, plus two expansions for Raiders, all on Kickstarter, all did well. Everybody was really happy with it. I haven't heard anybody say anything bad about any of those projects. Uh, looking at a December 2018 ship date for this game, 850% funded at the time I'm shooting this video. It might even be higher than that currently. 56 bucks for that base pledge and 70 bucks to go up to metal coins. And everybody loves metal coins, so you better get those metal coins. Uh, lastly, unique thing about this project is there's no stretch goals involved in this. So you're just gonna get five promos that are not gonna be released at retail. So get in there on the ground level and you're gonna get some extra content that other people won't. Now this game is for one to five players. It's a worker placement, variable player power, and multiple paths to victory type of game. Um, the theme is advancing a little bit farther into medieval times and you are architects all vying for the king's attention, trying to build him the best city and take each other down in the process to be the best. Uh, some of the most unique things about this game are the moral choices. Uh, Chef Phillips has put in this unique uh, situation where you can take different actions um, but you're gonna go down with your morals like you can trade on the black market but the more you do that the more corrupt you become and you actually can lose points but if you end up getting too high on this moral track then you can't work with black market dealers you can't do all the things you wish you could do so you got to keep this kind of nice balance till the end of the game and then shoot up on the moral track to get those victory points uh, some other things to note are uh, you have 20 workers total in the game, so this is going to be very different worker placement than Raiders of the North Sea. Um, instead of this put down and pick up another worker mechanic, you have 20 total that you're going to be moving around the board. And if you put seven in this one location, that means you get to do that action times seven. Um, that's the way it's described. We'll see how it exact, exactly kind of plays out once we get the copies of it. Um, but that's really kind of the concept is the more workers you put in the same location the more of that action you're really going to benefit from and be able to do um, and you can send other people to jail and that's kind of how they get their workers back is pulling them out of jail um, which is a really interesting mechanic in itself um, replayability on this game is huge with 30 unique buildings and variable starting player powers so everybody's going to start with a different architect to start out and you're gonna start with different stuff and different strategy on how to play those. Um, I think this is gonna be really easy to pick up if you know uh, Raiders or you know any of his games because the symbolism on the games, you'll see unique uh, actions, but the banners and uh, all the symbols will kind of make sense to you once you've played the original game. And I think this is going to be another fantastic project from him. So the verdict on this one for me is an auto back. I mean, as soon as I heard it was coming, I didn't even have to look into what type of game this is or what's going on with it. As soon as I knew Shem Phillips was creating another trilogy and yeah, there's going to be more games in this line of the of West Kingdom now, switching from of the North Sea. Uh, I just knew I had to have it no matter what it was. And so I auto backed it. And now that I've researched it more, I couldn't be happier with that decision. Um, 
check it out. Uh, Kickstarter ends on uh, April 4th is the last day to back and you're not going to want to miss this as the start of his new trilogy. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like the channel and I will continue to put out more and more videos for you. Enjoy. Bye.